I'm Christopher, and this is my story. All it took was one match. I was lonely, not the desperate type. I, I was just looking for some fun, I swear. It started on a gloomy, everything is, you know, so wet, so I don't want to go outside type of day. You know that introvert feeling when you, you get bored with everything around the house, but you don't want to go anywhere or see anyone either? Well, I mean, Fortnite was just getting old. I had just finished up the anime series I was watching and what else was I supposed to do? I I had to get my laptop out and find something to keep me interested for the rest of my day off. None of my illegal movie websites were working so I decided to start reading creepypastas. I read through a few, The Expressionless, Obey the Walrus, and Pale Luna. I was done feeling terrified and as soon as I was about to close my laptop, a link pops up. I'm all of a sudden able to buy guns, pregnant women's milk, and drugs that I had never even heard of, and I'm a college student. Then then an IM popped up on the right hand bottom of the corner of my screen saying hi, and I immediately slammed my laptop shut, went to bed that night, and everything was fine. And then the next morning I forgot the whole thing and I woke up with a new Tinder match? She was beautiful, with long blonde hair and glasses that she made look great. I usually don't get message first, so when she immediately messaged me telling me to come over, I saw it as the perfect opportunity for what I was looking for, which was like I said before, just some fun, until I got to her place. It was 11 p.m. that night, and I had came prepared with my phone on speed dial, my keys handy, and two condoms in my back pocket. It was a medium red velvet colored suburban house with two windows on each side of the front and a blue door in the middle. When I got on the front porch, the door was creaked open. I began to say hello and ask if anyone was there. I just slowly entered the house and for the first few steps down the silent white tiled hallway, it was completely silent. Then I heard the silent tap of a loud bass but it sounded as if it was coming from someone playing EDM music on a loudspeaker downstairs. As the music got louder, I realized it was actually coming from downstairs and there was a door behind the staircase on the left in the hallway, leading down into pitch black. I was just about to descend when I heard a life-ending scream come from the black abyss saying, PLEASE! GET HELP! I stopped. I literally had no idea what to think at this moment when I, when I looked down on the wooden creaky stairs and I couldn't believe what I saw before me. A trail of fire ants going into the basement. And then I got my flashlight out and looked all around the walls and ceiling leading down into the basement and there were colonies upon colonies of ants rushing down into the basement while I stood there listening to the gory sounding and gut-wrenching screams from, from what seemed like individuals who sounded as if they were being eaten alive. Then I heard a loud chunk like some kind of bigger creature munched on a large piece of meat and the rest of it slabbed onto the floor. I gasped and began to back up when I heard footsteps slowly coming towards the bottom of the staircase. As I used the side of the wall as protection from whatever was coming, I continued to peek only my eyes through the basement and then a figure appeared wearing the same clothes as the girl I matched with in her picture. Except. I didn't see the girl's face. What came out of the abyss was an ant head. This didn't look like a mask. It looked as if it was mutated or surgically placed onto this humanoid body. I screamed and ran for it. The last thing I remember is the humanoid's ant pupils watching my car speed away from the porch of the red velvet house. <laughs>